Hi, I'm Chrissy and I work for Cobb County Water System as an Environmental Program Specialist. Today we're going to learn about watersheds and understand how we impact our watershed every day. So, what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land where water travels and drains to a specific point into a larger body of water, like a river or a lake. Think of it this way. Hold your hands up like this. Our palms represent a watershed. The watershed boundary is at the top of our thumbs and fingers. In a landscape, these high areas could be hills, mountains, or what we call ridge lines. If it were to rain on my hands, where would the water collect? Would the water travel up my palm? Or would the water collect where my hands meet at the bottom? This represents how water would flow from the high points and travel down through creeks and streams into the low points of a landscape. Watersheds provide fresh surface water that keeps us and all living things alive. That clean water keeps us healthy, grows our food, provides a habitat for our fresh water friends, and provides us with all sorts of fun recreational activities. Do you think we have an impact on our watershed? Let's do an activity together to find out how we impact our watersheds every day. You will need a piece of white paper, a pack of colored markers, a spray bottle full of water, and a tub. Together, we're going to make our very own paper watersheds. Step one, pick up that white piece of paper and crumple it. All right, now we're going to straighten out the paper, but we're not going to flatten it. We're gonna just straighten it out just enough so we can maintain some of these crumples. Now, pick up your paper and determine which side of it has the most high points. I think I'm gonna pick this side. What we're going to do is pick up a red marker. We're going to use this to trace out the high points on our paper watershed. These high points represent our ridge lines. Go ahead and trace it like this. Let's put our red marker down and pick up a blue marker. With this marker, we're gonna trace out the low points on our paper watershed, like this. These blue lines are representing our streams or rivers in our watershed. Let's add some human activity to bring this paper watershed to life. Use other colors like black to represent roads or yellow to represent homes and create your own town. Let's circle back to a question I asked you earlier. Do you think we have an impact on our watershed? Let's take out our spray bottle and find out. This spray bottle is going to represent a rainstorm that's gonna fall on your paper watershed. Place your paper watershed into the tub. Take your spray bottle and spray a couple of times on different parts of your paper. Not too close, but also not too far. Let's check on our paper watersheds. Does yours look the same as it did earlier? It looks like the ink from different colored markers all ran together and collected in those low points where we drew our waterways. This represents how humans can impact a watershed. Pollution from the ground is washed away with the rain and runs off and travels through storm drains. This polluted water can lead into other bodies of water. Let's think about some solutions so we can prevent this pollution from draining into our waterways. The black ink on our paper represented the oil or gas that can leak out of cars. If cars are not regularly maintained, they will leak oils and gas on roads and parking lots. These will wash their way into streams. Tell someone you know with a car to check for leaks and remind them to visit their local mechanic once or twice a year. The brown ink represents animal waste. If animal waste gets into the water, 
bacteria will grow and make other animals sick. Do you have a dog in your family? Make sure to pick up their waste with a bag at home or while on a walk and dispose the bag in a trash can. If you see litter while you're walking on a trail, ask an adult if you can pick it up and throw it in the trash. Make sure you wash your hands after disposing the litter. Thank you so much for watching our video today about watersheds and stormwater pollution. Be sure to check out our other videos and, oh, looks like it's already raining in my watershed. I better go inside. Thanks for watching.